Huh. Well, that's good incentive to not use up all your minutes. Hey, what's up, my peoples? Mgo here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Common Rider Ghost Cobra Keitai and the DX Tutankhamen Ghost Icon. So here we are, and there they are. And first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. So here we have the packaging for the Cobra Keitai. There you have it in Cobra mode, in phone mode. There you have Spectre with the Tutankhamen Damashi up top. You can combine it with the Gun Gun Hand to make things and stuff. And there you have Spectre again with the Tutankhamen Damashi on the other side. You have the phone, the Cobra on the bottom. You have Spectre and Spectre in the Tutankhamen Damashi. On the back of the box, you have your obligatory product shots. So does this, that, the other. And, of course, you get Sir Pac-Man! And that's it for the Cobra K-Tai packaging. So let's take a look at the packaging for the for the King Tut Ghost Icon right there again you have <laughs> Spectre with the King Tut Damashi I'm just going to say that from now on because it's just a lot easier and on the back of the box you have your obligatory product shots and of course Sir Parkman you get a double dose today consider yourselves lucky or unlucky depending on how you look at it so Anyway, <laughs> here we have the Cobra Keitai and the Tutankhamen uh, icon. And uh, much like with the Robin Hood icon and the Condor phone, I figured since they do basically go hand in hand, I figured I would just review them together because it just makes sense to me anyway. So, first thing we'll do is we will take a look at the uh, Tutankhamen uh, or King Tut ghost icon. And uh, again, it's your typical icon. We've seen quite a few of these already. We know what they look like. Um, right up top, you have the nice sparkly, sparkly sticker. Number 11, Tutankhamun. Right there, you have the design for what the front of the helmet will look like when he uses the icon. Down here, you got the pins. On the back, you have the uh, little barcode there, the QR code. If you want to scan it, if you have the app, go ahead, scan on me. There you go. So yeah, that's, and of course you push the button on the side, the, uh, the default is the pupil, and then push it, it's number 11, push it again, again you have the design for the front of the helmets, and then again for your Omega Drive with the big sickle going on there, so, push it back, goes back to default, and there you go, so let us bring in our buddy here, Ghost Driver. the Ghost Driver! And let's just see what noise this makes in the driver. Let's open it up. Plug it in. Close it up. And there you go. You are now using the Tutankhamen Damashi. And again, you can see the symbol right there in the pupil. And of course, if you look at it from the top, you can see what icons in there in case you forgot. And we will do our Omega Drive, so just blink once. So you have that, so we'll do our optic orbit attack, so blink four times. Yeah, there you go. That's all the noises it makes in the Ghost of Driver. Take a nap. You've earned it. So there you go. There you have 
the Tutankhamen ghost icon. So there you have that. So now on to the Cobra Keitai, which is basically a, uh, it's a cell phone. <laughs> Much like uh, Ghost has the uh, the Condor phone, um, he has Spectre has a uh, cell phone here. And as you can see, um, when it's all closed up, there's not a whole lot going on here. You do get some nice molded details in here, which is pretty cool, and it is picked out in paint. You get a little bit of silver right here on the side. On the back, there's not a whole lot. You just get the little copyright stuff etched into it. You have this big block right here, which is for combination with the uh, gun gun hand. You got a little bit of painted detail right up top, and there you have... A little bit of gold there for the eyes. Those are the eyes of the Cobra right there. And right there you have your release button for combination. And yeah, not a whole lot going on when the phone is closed up. But when you open it up, right here, and it is on a ratchet too, which is kind of nice. It has a good, I think, four clicks, like one, two, three, four. So, so you can pretty much kind of, you know, display it sitting up if you want. But anyway, once you have it opened up, you can see a lot more going on here. You can see all the buttons right here. I mean, there's nothing, you know, picked out, no numbers on it or anything, but all the buttons are there. And again, all that molded detail around and picked out in paint. You get the nice Bandai silver going around the edge as well. You get some nice gold buttons right there. A little bit of molded detail right in there. And right here, you just get a big old sticker with some various, you know, icons, basically. <laughs> Done up in uh, with a ghost symbol. So you basically have uh, what looks like what settings, that's your camera, that's music, uh, weather, uh, videos, I guess, uh, calendar, phone, messages, uh, battery, I guess, uh, another setting, music, another music, and that's maybe that's like for like the app store or something to download something. I don't know, but there you go. And of course, you get your bars up here, battery, it gets Wi-Fi, which is very nice. And it's 8 o'clock, which is when uh, Kamen Rider Ghost airs in Japan. It's Super Hero Time! So, there you go. There you have the Cobra Keita. It actually is, like, a, a, a nice size. I mean, it's pretty much, you know, gra <laughs> granted, you know, cell phones aren't really this, uh... Actually, that's not true. Cell phones are... seems like cell phones... At one time, cell phones were getting smaller and smaller, and now they're going back to getting bigger and bigger, which is really funny. It's just this weird... <laughs> this weird thing that's happening with phones nowadays. Before, it was like, make them as small as possible. Now it's make them bigger, because the screens have to be humongous. They have to be the size of TVs. I don't know. I, I, I don't know. <laughs> but anyway. There you go. And there is the Cobra Keitai in its phone mode. Uh, there are no electronics in this whatsoever. It doesn't make any noises. What it's doing is what it does. Um, but the other thing that it does do is that you can transform it into its Cobra mode. And to do that, you just want to take this side right here. And it just tabs in right in there. And it's on a double hinge, so you want to take it and bring it up on this hinge like that. And you can rotate it. And then, well, let me raise the camera so you can see what I'm doing here. And then you take this section right here, and you split it, and bring these pieces out, and there it is, in its Cobra mode. And let me just <laughs> let me raise things up just a little bit more. There we go. So you have the Cobra K-Tie in its Cobra mode, and... Um, it's funny because on the packaging, they obviously have it like standing straight up like this. No problem whatsoever. No, it doesn't stand this way. You can kind of sort of balance it if you really try really hard. And if you believe in fairies and everything, maybe you can actually get it to stand. I have I have been able to get it to stand on its own like this, but it's just, it's, it's not easy. It's just, it's not really balanced. It's not really meant for that. And I've tried every way possible to kind of get it to stand. It just won't do it. The, the tail has to be this way because on this side, the tail is flat. If you flip it on the other side, you can see it has this little nub right here and that totally knocks the balance off even more than it already is. So yeah, it doesn't, come on, you can do it. I believe in you. You kind of have to just kind of mess with the joints a little bit, but you can kind of get it to stand on its own. There we go. Yay! That didn't take much. <laughs> a little breeze knocks it over, but... Yay! Uh, if only it was that easy to kill a snake. Just Anyway.
<laughs> but there it is as Cobra mode. And you can see a lot more multi detail is uh, is revealed. And you go again, just pick that in paints. Of course, you do have all these clips and screws that are visible in this mode, so it's not exactly elegant, but hey, it is what it is. But you can see the uh, the Cobra head right there. I like the gold they used for the eyes. That looks really nice. So. They have that. Unfortunately, I, I actually really wish you could open and close his mouth, but there is no, there's no articulation. There's basically just this joint right here, which is used for, you know, phone mode, really. And then you just have that double joint right here, which, you know, you can't take it, angle it how you want. This can rotate. But again, not a lot you can do with it as far as posability goes. One way to display it, which is a lot easier, is if you just fold this up like this and I take it and just bring the bring the tail up like that, and that actually sits a lot more stable. So that's probably the way that I will display it, because it's the only way that really works. So, and even that, you can see he has a tendency to want to flip back a little bit, so you can kind of, you can just bring the tail all the way back and just have it resting on the uh, on the surface there, and that'll hold him up a bit better, so. Yeah, there you go. It's a snake. It's a snake phone. Clever. <laughs> Not the most successful snake phone, but a snake phone. So there you go. Now, of course, you can combine this with the gun gun hand, uh, Spectre's main weapon. So to do that, you just close this back up, bring this down, and you bring the tail down like this. Now, one thing that's really weird about how this works is if you try to actually have this angled the way it's supposed to be, because you can kind of see the this line here kind of just, they're just a natural... A natural progression there so really you want it like that so there's that 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 nice slope right there but the thing is is that it doesn't really hold securely because while the ratchets hold firmly in any other position you can see there's not a lot of play there when you bring it all the way down all of a sudden there's a lot of play in that ratchet which is really really weird um, so it'll kind of wiggle around you can kind of straighten it out all the way like that and that, that does help, but again, it's kind of taking away from that natural slope it's supposed to have, so that, uh, that just kind of sort of doesn't work. Um, you can see if you hold it the other way, it just kind of droops down on its own, so that's unfortunate. It doesn't work, you know, it's not totally successful there, but anyway, there you have that ready for combination. So now we will bring in a gun gun handle. And what you do here is, let me raise this up a little bit, just so I have some room to maneuver and operate here. So all you're going to do is just take the Cobra K-Tie and just slide this in right here. Get your confirmation noise, and then you're supposed to close the hand up. If you can see, get, let me break this down for a second. Close the hand up. Just to complete the look. And that's supposed to look like it's actually holding the phone, even though it doesn't totally close around it. But... That is, you know, the intended effect. And there you have the gun gun hand in uh, sickle mode right here. So just a big sickle. Um, again, obviously a lot smaller than it is on the show. Like on the show, he's actually like, you know, you know, holding this with two hands and it's a massive weapon. But again, you know, this being a child's toy, it's a lot smaller. But there you go. And again, I just, I hate how that just, uh, that bugs me. I wish it just locked. But there you have it in sickle mode right there, which is pretty cool. And now you get some new sounds. Some new slashing noises. So you get two new slashing noises. Right there, which is pretty cool. And you get a new Omega attack. So you just bring in your ghost driver and just make some eye contact. And pull the trigger. And there you have the Omega Fang, which is pretty cool. And I like how you can hear the phone dialing <laughs> during the explosions and everything. That's pretty cool. <laughs> so there you go. There is your Omega attack. And that is basically all it does with the Cobra k -Tai attached to it. So you can just open this back up. And then just push the button up top to release it. Get a little disengaging noise right there. 
And there you have that. Now, whereas um, the Condor phone is not compatible with the Gun Gun Hand, this is compatible with the Gun Gun Saber, which is pretty cool. So if you bring in the Gun Gun Saber right here, make sure it's on. Oh. Gun Gun Saber! Gun Gun Saber! You can't connect this because you can see there is a, uh, a pin right here that will push one of these buttons in the, uh, in the Gun Gun Saber. So you will get some new noises. So plug it in. Right there, and push the button, and you get a new noise. It's only one new noise, you just get the same slash noise, which is pretty cool. And you get a new Omega attack, so make eye contact. And pull the trigger. Omega crash. So you get the Omega crash. And again, you can hear the phone dialing while the explosions are going off and everything, which I really do like. So there you go. Now, um, as of this recording, this has not happened on the show. So I don't know exactly what the correct configuration for this is supposed to be. I, I don't know. For me, and I've seen a lot of other people do it, and it does seem to make the most sense, is to uh, take it and put it in uh, Naginata mode. I believe that's what it's called. I forget. And that seems to make the most sense, to use it that way. But again, as of this recording, I have not seen this happen on the show, so I don't know exactly how it's going to be used with the uh, Gun Gun Saber, but that's that to me and to, to a lot of other reviewers, it, it does seem to just make sense. But there you go. And we'll just disengage it. Right there, we'll put this back off. Oh, hey, put that back off to the side. And there you go. So there you have... The Cobra Keitai. Oh, and one thing I forgot to do. Let me do this real quick, and I'm back into a snake mode here. Try to get on. You know what? I'm not, I'm not going to try to balance him. What, what's wrong with me? Don't do that. Don't, don't do that. So there we have that. And just for a comparison, here it is with the, uh, with the Condor phone. So you can see how they kind of scale with each other. I mean, if you stand it up, if you can get it standing up, you can see. There you go. Right there, how they scale with each other. Like that, and if you put it back into uh, into phone mode here, and we'll put the Condor phone back into phone mode. I'll do this on camera because it's not like the transformation so hard. So there you go, boom. You can see here uh, they scale with each other in their respective phone modes. So there you go. So there you have that. So yeah, there you go. Getting back into Cobra mode here for the final thoughts. Bring in our icon, but um, yeah, as far as the Cobra K tie goes, um, it's a neat toy. Um, I like the idea behind it. It is not completely successful though. Um, it does do some things that bug me, like you know, just being able to just stand it up, it can be kind of a pain in the butt. Um, but again, you can just always lay it down, and that's pretty much the easy way, easiest way to display it. Um, this is virtually impossible, and even if you manage to get it. To stand up on its own, like I said, like a like a light breeze will knock it over. So, <laughs> not the most stable of toys, but you know, if you get a, if you get it kind of curled up that way, even even then, it's still a little back heavy and has a tendency to tip over. But it's the best you can do about it. That ratchet right here, just for uh, for sickle mode, I wish this locked a bit more securely. I really don't like the way that wobbles. And it just kind of throws everything off when you have it hooked up with the uh, with either the gun gun hand or the gun gun saber. So I wish that was something that was you know that worked a bit better. But still, um, as always, I give them an A for creativity because we got a snake that turns into a cobra. So hey. <laughs> And I do like the combination feature with the gun gun hand and even with the gun gun saber, even though we haven't seen it on the show yet. So I do like the sickle mode. I think it looks really cool. And of course, you know, having another eyeball for the shelf. I'm happy. <laughs> I have the creepiest shelf ever going right now. Just, the, just a row of eyeballs. It's just, I love it. I love it. But there you go.
Now, I got these from uh, Hobby Link Japan HLJ, so you can check them out if you're interested in this stuff. Of course, there's always other sites such as AmiAmi, Hobby Search, uh, CS Toys, Mandarake. There are plenty of sites that specialize in this kind of stuff if you are interested. And of course, there's always eBay and Amazon, but you know, I'm always very wary of those sites because they like to jack up prices a bit. So I usually go for the sites where I know I can get it for retail, you know. So, but again, you know, there they're, they're are good sites sellers on those sites that sell stuff for retail so again you know it's up to you where you want to go what avenue you want to go down as far as acquiring stuff like this but there you have that and of course there's always bigbadtoystore.com they don't have a lot of common writer stuff as far as role play toys go but they do carry figure arts if you're interested in those so you can always check them out linked in the description down below and you can check out my common writer ghost playlist for any reviews you may have missed also linked in the description down below so check that out as well and that's pretty much it so don't forget to check out M Games. check out Lori Plan. follow me on Twitter all of that good stuff down in the description below and I think that's pretty much all there is to say so there is the Common Rider Ghost Cobra Katai and the DX Tutankhamen Ghost Icon and this is MGO saying remember you don't stop playing because you grow old you grow old because you stop playing be geek be proud home in your face